pleased to be here today to officially announce $315,000 in annual funding from the province to support the opening and operating of the first three hospice beds here in the this is, this is really good. It's been since 2012. Uh, we partnered with Hospice Muskoka back then uh, to make Andy's house come to fruition. So to have government funding is, is awesome because they had a, a forked approach to uh, going ahead with funding for three beds or doing it privately. We could do either. Um, so the meeting that uh, was had, all of a sudden the government's come up and uh, are going to fund three beds, which is amazing. I mean, it, it it won't cover all the costs for Andy's house, but it's definitely a giant step in the right direction. It's more than we could have hoped for. Of course, we always hoped it would happen, and today was the day. So it was a very, very special day, special for our uh, community, and importantly for our sustainability in future. The community needs to be commended for the almost $3 million raised in the community to build Andy's house. Just had a tour and it looks fantastic with a lot of really unique features, including every room has a balcony with a view of the, of the Indian River and the door is wide enough that you can slide the bed through if necessary out onto the balcony. But it's, you know, just a first class facility and I'm really happy that I get to be the deliverer of good news, the $315,000 annual funding for the first three hospice beds and uh, it's going to be very beneficial in the community and very beneficial from the hospital's perspective as well. This isn't just a residential hospice. This is a comprehensive hospice palliative care community hub of a whole range of services. So in this building, we hope to have improved caregiver supports. Uh, we are going to run grief programs out this way and children's programs out this way. Uh, we want to uh, initiate a day hospice and that's for individuals living with a life-threatening illness uh, for one day a week that they can come and join their colleagues and, uh, and it's a real peer support program. So lots of things happening over the next couple of years and we hope it won't be too long before the whole building's all engaged. So, Congratulations to everybody and, and of course uh, thanks to everybody who worked so hard uh, throughout the process and also uh, you know to the community and the private sector who everybody all dug in and, and made it happen and uh, I'm so proud of the people in Muskoka.